In my last video, I reflected on my postgraduate university applications and shared my results. Now we're going to take a step back and discuss working from home tips for students, which will be applied to studying. Follow me through the day from breakfast to dinner as I get work done and discuss my study tips. As you can tell, I've ensured that my environment is optimized for studying. In the past couple of days, I've been experimenting with times at which I study, and I found that I work best during mornings and afternoons. During the evenings, I tend to get very sleepy and I can't focus very well. As such, my first study tip would be to find the best time for you to learn and stick with it. My second tip is to structure your study methods around how you learn best. Some people learn best by listening to lectures, reading a book, or a combination of both. Personally, I'm mostly an auditory learner, so I learn material by going to lectures, then actively explaining concepts out loud to myself. Right now, as I'm learning brand new topics at home, I watch videos for concepts I don't understand, and then I read the book. Then, to ensure that I fully understood a topic, I quiz myself out loud and do practice questions. Around 1 to 2 p.m., I'll make sure to eat a bit of lunch. I find that very heavy foods like pasta make me fall asleep really fast, especially if I'm studying after lunch. So I tend to go for lighter options like soup and noodles. After lunch, I'll go back to work for a couple of hours. Another study tip is to know what to learn. This might seem obvious, but it's just a reminder to know the sources of where you're going to be tested from. For example, if a professor says that all the examinable material comes from lectures, then just focus on lectures. Don't confuse yourself with additional material that won't be tested for the purposes of the exam, especially because there's probably going to be so much material as is. Relating to that idea, sometimes it's just not possible to learn every single detail, especially when you're juggling four to five heavy classes in a single term. So, prioritizing content to learn consists of assessing high-yield topics, that is, topics that are most likely to show up, and studying those first. It also means to learn concepts that form the foundation of later lectures which is especially important if your lectures are fast-paced and built upon one another. Around 7 p.m., I get dinner with my family, and then I take another break. During this break, I walk my dog and do things completely unrelated to studying. My friend Kevin gave me this tip, which was to separate breaks from work time. After that, I'll probably study for another hour or so before I take the night off. Throughout this entire day, I try to focus by eliminating all distractions. It's really important to learn new content accurately, and to do so requires focus. One thing I do to focus is to set my phone in a different room so that I physically cannot reach it. I also use a Chrome extension called Block Site Website Blocker for Chrome, where I block every site I tend to procrastinate on. Another thing I have been recently doing is to use a stopwatch to time how long I'm actually working. My friend Anthony suggested this strategy for me, and it has worked really well. That's pretty much how I structure my study days. I have a large study block in the morning after breakfast, another large one after lunch, and a smaller block after dinner. If you enjoyed my working from home tips for students, please consider to subscribe to support this channel. See you in the next video!